Well, Marco, what a game. I mean, I'm not sure what you changed or tweaked or said at half time, but it certainly made a difference. Yes, definitely. Uh, we're a comeback from ourselves. I think even first half, um, we didn't deserve to come to the half time with back in score. Um, first time they went in our 18 yard box, they scored. They won the, the corner and after score uh, from a corner. Um, and after we, we tried, uh, not many, many chances, but we had, we, we had some from set pieces as well. We knew before the match that the way we prepare and the way we go to set pieces can be a decisive in the, in the match. Uh, what we spoke with all the players of time was clear. More dynamic, more intensity on the ball, um, to circulate quicker the ball, because the spaces will appear. Uh, even first half they appear for us, of course the second half will appear more and more and more. And we did it. Um, great dynamic for our players, great belief. Um, we deserve clearly three points. I think we are the best team on, on, on the pitch. Against a very good side, I have to say. Of course, they came from a, a tough defeat against Bournemouth, but um, a very good side, the way they, they can change players and put probably even more quality in. And all that situations, you knew that will be really tough here. Great atmosphere as well from them, our fans, fantastic. And we got really important three points for us. Really important. I have to congratulate the players, and uh, um, because it's really tough to to do something like they did this, uh, this evening. Just in terms of your team this season, even the games you've lost, the performances have been there. How have you, as the coach, sort of put that clarity and that confidence into your into your players? It's the way we work. It's the way we prepare the games. It's the way they they have been so open and um, with clear mind to to learn every single day and to improve every single day. Um, this is the main thing for us. We, we are a, really a, a group, we are a, a unit and you are working really hard to achieve and to perform well. You know that Premier League is really tough. Even when we had a bad result like last game against Tottenham, we analyze always. We, we know what we did not so good to improve the next one. And you come here again with belief in ourselves, with quality. Okay, be humble enough to understand the quality that you are playing against, uh, but always trust in ourselves. And you, a lot of focus, obviously, on Alexandra Mitrovic, but today, three different goal scorers. You must be really pleased with the goals being shared around a little bit as well. No, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic feeling, and I'm really pleased for that. And I know that Mitro is really pleased as well. Probably the, the, the happiest guys in the dressing room right now. And this is, speaks about ourselves, uh, speaks about our group, speaks about our, uh, the commitment and the, the togetherness that we have in our, in our dressing room. And just finally, I know you like to speak about the group, but Tim Ream, I feel like every time Fulham have been in the Premier League, he's sort of been taken in a bat seat. Today he plays at left back and again puts in a magnificent performance. Just a few words about him. What a class is the words. Um, class, class, class. Um, he's been f fantastic at central defender and his position, his, his start of the season has been really, really good. Um, 34 years old, but comes to the training session every time to improve. Um, you know that we had some problems with Robinson and Kurzawa, and uh, when I decided to start with him, I, um, I didn't have doubts to, to start with him. Of course, I, I knew that I took him from his best position, and he's doing so well, he's being so, so, so important for us, but I had the, the, the feeling and the belief that he will perform so well. And I, when I see him doing what he did tonight, fantastic, because he showed really the composure, the class, um, he plays as a captain, really.